So the, I just played that musical figure using a technique called corner switching. And that's where you cover um, a certain amount of holes with your mouth and it's tongue blocking, like regular tongue blocking. So you have your tongue is on the left side and you are allowing the note on the right side to play. But then you move your tongue over and you can get uh, this interval of a fourth. I'm playing this off of E flat, which is whole four draw with the slide. And I was always curious about corner switching, so randomly one day I decided to try it, and that's what I fell upon uh, E flat to B flat. And then I stayed on the B flat hole, released the slide, and played the blow note, which is G. And so these are, um, it's root, fifth, third, and back up. It's the triad. And here's the blow note. Anyway, I've always been curious about corner switching. Never tried it. And what I'm experiencing is that it, for one thing, it's an amazing thing that the harmonic is not moving and my head is not moving. The tongue is just moving back and forth. So it's, it seems just incredibly efficient, an incredibly efficient way to play intervals. Now, I don't know how much practice it would take to start incorporating that into playing songs and melodies and improvisations. Um, but the contrast for me is, is if I play those three notes the normal way that I play, I'm just a pucker player most of the time. So... So once I warm up to it, it's like, okay, I can play it, but it sure seems like a lot of effort. I mean, compared to just holding still. Now, it still feels weird. Uh, I was thinking about this whole corner switching thing. If you haven't seen the, um, the interview that David Barrett did with the great classical harmonica player and teacher, Robert Bonfiglio, uh, check that out. And check out his thing about the different kinds of ways to get uh, notes. <laughs> The French word is embouchure, right? And it's possible to use it in runs. You'll hear... <laughs> now what I'm doing is switching over. <laughs> when I play that run, there are corner switches all over the place. And but I was thinking about corner switching uh, this author calls it tongue switching. This is Alan Shackner's book, uh, Everything You Always Want to Know About the Chromatic Harmonica But Didn't Know, Who to Ask, published in 1983. <clears throat> There's more to this book than meets the eye. You know, every time I come back to it, I'm like, oh, you know, it's, it's a bunch of kind of different stuff that I wouldn't think to try to do or to teach. And so... That's why when it comes to harmonica instruction, I actually, even though I sell my own harmonica method, there's volume one, volume two is almost done. Um, we'll let you know about that. Uh, even though I sell harmonica instruction, I'm always, I never hesitate to recommend other teachers and other harmonica methods and books if you can find books uh, about the harmonica. In the old days, I'd find them at music stores, and of course now we have Amazon.com. Um, in this book, he introduces corner switching uh, octaves first, which I, I just found, I'm not even going to try I sound like a beginning harmonica player trying to demonstrate corner switching on octaves. <clears throat> uh, and he has you start where you're First of all, you're playing an octave block between holes number one and five. 
And so uh, then eventually you get, so your tongue is covering four holes. It's too big. It's just too crazy. And uh, then the next page over, he talks about this interval of a fourth. And strangely enough, it starts off where I started off on the E flat to the B flat. Now there's, a, I won't, this book's copyright. I'm not going to open the pages. But he has a musical figure written down. <clears throat> that you can play without moving your mouth meaning it's a interval of the fourth uh, but it goes down in half steps so it starts on E flat so I'm gonna play this just with with the tongue blocking my tongue is I'm gonna be on the left side and to play the E flat oh. those are the four notes but then we do the the fourth interval off of each one so it sounds like this triplets So that is a musical exercise from this book, and it's triplets. The tongue is just moving back and forth, and it's all bouncing off of hole five. The the four, and then we 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 go E flat to D to D flat to C, and then we start over with the E flat. So. Um, Something you could m maybe try out. Uh, it sure was a good place for me to start. The E flat, I just naturally landed there. Um, corner switching is something I'm kind of interested in, and I I almost feel like I don't want it to mess me up. You know, I just want to learn how to play better harmonica. I want to learn how to play jazz harmonica. Toots Thielmans did not do corner switching. Um, but what, you know, after experiencing and playing it both ways, it's like, well, it might be hard, if, but I, you know, when am I ever going to play those three notes while improvising? Um, uh, and so something I'm going to keep working on. And I'm going to work on, I suppose, different intervals and maybe try to work my way up to the octave. Um, but uh, this, this book, I would recommend checking out this book. He's got another thing where, where you tongue block and create the octave and then make your mouth extra big and get the octave and a third on top. So you have an octave on the bottom, the octave on the top, and then one more hole for the third and some other interval kind of work. Stuff that I wouldn't, that's why I say, check out other harmonica teachers, because they're, you know, I teach what I teach, but I wouldn't think to teach corner switching or um, some of these other tongue blocking intervals that this uh, guy, Alan Shackner, teaches. Hope everybody's doing good. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel, like this video, subscribe. Um, hit the bell. Talk to you later. Bye.